two, three, fuck it. Good afternoon guys, it's Akari, and right now I'm bringing you guys a Infinite Warfare header or banner tutorial, and if you guys do want to purchase this, this exact banner will be in the description below on my cell phone. you guys can purchase it for $1 USD, but if you guys do want to learn it, just stay tuned for the whole entire tutorial, we're going to be going over a lot of key things and a lot of cool features. So first off, I want to do say that you are going to need access to Google to find out your own image you want to use. I'm also going to be using a pack called the Obey Pack. It's by um, former Obey Max, I believe. And it's a really good pack. I use it in a lot of my tutorials. So if you guys can, go purchase that in the description below. Or you guys can go ask around with your friends and find your own version. So, of course, you're not going to need all the stocks that I use, but it's really helpful to get you know stuff going. It's really helpful to kind of create some things. And it's really awesome to kind of create your own stuff like this. So of course you guys are just going to need to hop over to Google and find your own image. So right here I have my own image of just a regular Infinite Warfare gameplay and I like using something that's different than regular people. A lot of people use a stationary Infinite Warfare game disc trailer cover. I like switching it up using something different. Kind of cool. So basically all you want to do is right click and copy the image. If you guys are making a YouTube banner the size is going to be different from a Twitter header. So excuse me for this tutorial. We're just going to be making it a Twitter banner size. So the width is going to be 1500 and the height is going to be another 500. And basically all you're going to do is hit control V, paste that image in and just size it somewhere you wherever you want to be. So sizing can be however you'd like. You don't want to make it too small or too big, but have it so you know it's a good size, you know, it has a good composition, it looks pretty decent. Don't put too much effort into this part. So if you guys can go back to my example, really I didn't do that much work into it. A really key feature that I did do the first thing was actually pen tool uh, this guy out. And the reason I did that is because I like to add a like inner glow around him. So basically I zoomed in, brought it over to the side, grabbed my pen tool and just clicked around right over here. And I did this the whole entire guy and it's really good if you guys know your pen tool and how to use it correctly. And if you guys haven't already watched one of my tutorials explaining that, definitely go head over to my channel. It's going to be in one of my most recent uploads, and it's a really good video to actually check out, just because it really goes over the whole entire pen tool, how it works, and if you guys do want to start getting into more pen tooling art, getting renders going, it's a really good thing to learn. So, basically, all you want to do is click the whole entire object, and when you get to the gun, or if you get to any gun with an explosion, you don't want to mask the explosion out actually you want to leave the explosion just totally away from it because it's going to take a lot longer to basically get around that whole entire explosion because we are going to be adding a inner glow and we're all going to be doing stuff like that so if you guys are very new to my tutorials make sure you guys can leave a like on this video and also subscribe it really means a lot you know we're on a road to 20k right now we have 11,000 subscribers as i'm making this video so we're on the road to 20k so if you guys can drop a subscription to my channel show it to your friends and get this video out it'd be much appreciated so after you guys have already pen tooled out your guy right click go to make selection and then just hit Control j on your image so it duplicates the background so after you guys have done this you guys can do one of two things you guys can do it yourself at an inner glow or you guys can use an inner glow style if you guys haven't already checked out my 3000 subscriber layer style pack, I have this layer style actually inside of it. So it's a really good layer style, just pretty much creates a drop shadow and an inner glow. That's really all it does. And all I'm doing is making a new layer and merging these two. Grabbing an eraser and erasing that nozzle so that muffle thing isn't going too much. So now that I have that, and I have that kind of weird little gap between the background and the guy, looks like it's being a little 3D explosion. What I want to do next is actually go to over to my pack that I'm going to be using. And all I'm really using this pack for is a couple explosion stocks and maybe a couple of light flares. So you guys can go to your explosions if you guys have a pack full of them. Just grab the best one you see. I like using this one because it has a lot of um, saturation to it. So all I'm going to do is drag it in. Sometimes these packs do not like to load all these things. So really quickly I can do it this way. Make sure this is rasterized. I'm just going to paste it in. Basically all you have to do is put this behind the guy. 
creating that kind of explosion feel and put one like right here so don't want to do too much because it's gonna look a little weird if you guys like overpower it of course I have a couple here and there so the next thing you guys do want to add is actually little sparks around the sky just to kind of create a really nice feel so head over back to your packs a lot of packs have these kind of stationary um stocks like this one and of course you know make sure that the layer is rasterized if we're going to be using it if not it's not a huge deal but it does create a lot of easier abilities when it's rasterized so you know kind of bring the sparks over put them around the screen maybe have the sparks come up here and you guys are basically set to go there are some other things you guys can do like if you guys do have my stock pack that i released for a limited time you guys can like drag in some of the stocks or do how i'm going to be doing it and actually just kind of place them around hit control u and kind of make them a different color maybe more of like a red color to kind of bring out some more saturation it really depends on who you are and what you want to achieve with this whole entire thing so the next important part is going to be the text in the middle and you see we're not using that many like that many layers we're only up to like five or six so far excuse me so this is a really easy thing to make so let's say we're going to add the text now what i'd like to do is actually find the center of it so i double click my background layer hit Control r so my rulers pop up and then hit Control t so i get like those little blocks right here that designate where the middle is throw my rulers in make sure i don't have any excess ones that are just kind of making me look confused and then i'm going to type in my name so for this i'm just going to type in let's just say your name and for the font i'm going to be using make sure you drag that layer above everything by the way the font i'm going to be using is Evo Gria, I believe that's how you say it. And all I'm doing is making it, you know, a decent size. So it's very noticeable. It's very right in your face. I'm going to grab it, highlight the name, click your little colors right here, go to yellow. I'm going to make it, you know, a really kind of volt looking yellow to kind of match the Infinite Warfare look. So now that you have that, you guys can go to right click blending options and go to drop shadow and just create a little drop shadow with a little bit of size just to kind of create, you know, a little bit more feel to it. And next you guys can add the, the official channel of, and I don't really like doing this too much, but this is a very easy and a very basic banner. So all I can add right here is, whoops, make sure your typing tool is selected. the official channel of you know take that text you guys can center that as well same thing you did before right click blending options and put a little drop shadow on it make it too well a little too small maybe a little up there basically you guys can go back to your your name text and you guys can really mess around with drop shadows and i like making mine a little bit more of the opacity the size a little bit different, you know, spreads a really big stem, really big thing. And finding the right kind of opacity is really key. But mess around with that your whole entire self. Of course, you guys can change the color of this. You guys can keep it like maybe you guys can want to change it to red to match this guy's suit. It really doesn't matter. Um, I like keeping, of course, that kind of volty orange, volty yellow to kind of create that whole entire like feel of infinite warfare. So now that I have this, you guys can either do one of two things. You guys can add your social media on the bottom. You guys can add your sponsors. So if you guys do want to add your sponsors, it's really easy. You know, head over to where you find them all. And you guys can take this and basically just paste it in or drag it in, however you want to do it. And then you guys can line the whole entire bottom with your logos. Of course, adding the drop shadow. But I like adding the text. So all I did for the text here is I actually just took the social media icon that i found on google and put the slash your username at the end of it so i'm just going to drag these three in to kind of create that process a little faster a little easy way i'm going to do this is actually merge these so i don't have to keep having all those extra layers and you know bring that to the bottom make sure everything's centered and add that drop shadow that you guys have been adding on to the rest of your things to kind of create of course that extra feel make sure your size isn't too much your distance goes up there so don't stress it too much 
So now you guys have this, you guys can start adding your peripherals and you guys can start adding other things. So this is when you guys start wanting to get into your own thing. So you guys can grab like your eyedrop tool or something like that. Or you can even just grab like an orange and you know, grab that brush tool, put it on like a size of like maybe a hundred hardness of zero. And you can click places like that and uh, click where you know it's getting brighter somewhere. And basically, do that you guys can mess around with settings you guys can put it on soft light you guys can put it on screen if you guys leave it on screen make sure you lower the opacity a little bit you guys can also make a new layer and grab the uh, white color and kind of click in spots to kind of create that uh lighting it's really up to you guys and it's really cool on how easily this thing can be customized so same thing you guys can put it on like screen and then lower the opacity a little bit so after you guys have that all done you guys can make a new layer, grab, let's say, a big white brush. So you grab the white, grab your brush on like a size, probably 900. And you guys can click above right here. And it can make a really nice glowing effect on top of that text. But what I like doing is actually throwing it behind that guy to make him create that bigger kind of depth feel that he's above everything. And it's kind of creating that feel that he's looking above everything. It's having that drop shadow behind him. So after you guys have this done, you guys can do one of two things. You guys can save it now or you guys can merge all of these together. So click the bottom one holding shift and click the top layer. Hit control G, hit control J, which is duplicating. Hit control E, which is merging them all together. Hit control J once again so you have that duplicated layer. Go to filter, blur, and then go to Gaussian blur. And make a Gaussian blur layer for about 2.2 pixels. Grab your eraser and you want to just kind of erase a lot of the extra things going on around. Kind of create a cool little little bit of a blur going on somewhere to kind of create a cool feel. Of course, now you guys can add a little CC. So really quickly, we're going to do is add a little bit of exposure. So right click, or excuse me, click right here on this little half circle. Go to exposure and take gamma correction. You guys can bring that to the right a little bit. You guys can take your exposure and bring it up to the right as well or to the left, it doesn't really matter. Depends on your preference and leave the offset alone. And lastly, you guys can click on that half zone or half circle again, click curves and you guys can bring the brights up and the darks a little bit down. And you guys can have a pretty sweet Infinite Warfare style banner. You guys can show it to your friends. You guys can brag to your friends that you just made this and all that kind of cool stuff. So of course guys, if you do want to purchase the other copy, this one, there will be a link in the description of to my cell phone. It's only going to be a dollar. If you guys do want to purchase this one, it would be the same thing, just a dollar in the description of my video. So if you guys do have any comments, questions, or concerns, let me know in the description in the comment section right now. Of course guys, if you can subscribe to my channel, please do. The road to 20k has begun. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Infinite Warfare is going to be a banger game. So it's going to be a really cool video. Hopefully I can do a lot more tutorials about, you know, headers and stuff like this. A lot of people have been suggestion, suggesting that and also wanting that. So of course, guys, it's been Garrett. Of course, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you can, subscribe, like this video, comment below, and I'll see you guys in my later on video. Peace out.